Hi, my name's Caroline McCall. Um, I live in Bursco and I go to St John's Church. I'm married to Finn. Um, he's a pharmacist and works in the Manchester area. And I have two children, Shannon, who's 23, who works at Lancaster University, and Connor, who's almost 21, and he's studying engineering at Lancaster University as well. So the first question was tea or coffee? Well, I like both actually. I like a cup of tea first thing in the morning um, and then about half past ten I have a cappuccino in my nice mug. Um, so yeah, I like them both. So favourite biscuit? Well, I like most biscuits, um, but I think Orange Club biscuits probably my favourite. Oh, cream egg, how do I eat it? Well, I guess I bite the top off, lick the inside and scoff the rest. Yeah, I like an, I like an, a cream egg, I really do. So what's the best thing about Lent in lockdown? Well, I suppose this year, I've, I'm, normally what I do, I normally give something up. So chocolate or bread or something like that. But this year I've decided to be a bit more positive. And I'm going to take something up. So I've decided that I'm going to do some Bible journaling every day in Lent. So um, I've got a Bible a journal um, and what it does, it has uh, margins in the side of all the text, which allows you to, to write comments or draw pictures or do images and things. So um, there's one that I did um, a few months back. And uh, sometimes what I do do is I would cover the whole page and um, if I'm feeling it um, like I've got a bit of time on my hands. So um, that's what I've decided to do this year. Um, I'm going to do a little bit in my Bible every day. What am I praying for um, over lockdown and, and Lent? Well, I think, we, I think we're all praying for those who work on the front line. And um, we pray that that they'll get the strength to keep going. It's, it's, it's a year now. Uh, they must be absolutely exhausted. And we just pray for them um, in their everyday lives and uh, and the struggles that they're going through. Pray for those who are working in the vaccination centres. Uh, my husband, Finn, he's, um, he's set up a vaccination centre in Ramsbottom and he's got so many volunteers working for for the centre and you know everybody's giving their time um, and it's just fantastic right across the country. So how did I come to faith? Um, well I, can't, I grew up uh, going to church and um, went to Sunday school um, and it was just part of life. Uh, I, I then went on to uh, university and I suppose I didn't go to church particularly during that time. Uh, but I still had a faith, still believed. Um, and then I met Finn, he was a Catholic and we went to the Catholic church and I got married in a Catholic church. Um, but then when we moved to Bursco, um, St. John's um, had a really good uh, Sunday school and um, sort of um, the Little Lambs um, was a really good um, opportunity to take my children to. And we just became involved in the church life um, from then. Um, and I think from that point, I then had a better understanding of what being a Christian was um, and what having a faith meant and, uh, and, and being able to worship with friends in the church and, and develop a strength and bonds with people um, was great. Um, what are my hopes for Bursco? Um, well, I just pray that lockdown has taught us something it's taught us how to be a community how to help each other and i just hope that continues um, and i think that as a church we've found different ways of being able to to worship and um, and to reach out to the community and i, and I just pray that that continues um, in the next few years. Thank you.